I got the coolest event invite ever. I'm all dressed up, I'm ready to go. Let me show you where I'm going. This is gonna be so cool. It's a huge brand and I'm going to their headquarters in New York City, so let's head there now. Okay, so I was invited to go to the Meta Facebook Instagram headquarters for a fun school for creators called Real School, where we learned all about creating reels. We were started off with some lunch boxes and we headed inside to learn all about how to create reels. This was a full event, six hours long, and it was really interesting to be in a room with all these different creators. We learned from Meta, employees themselves about best practices and of course there was like a really fun concert at the end of the day so so excited that meta invited me to check out what real school was all about good morning everyone so i have to fill you in on a few things because i picked up my camera here and there so let me fill you in on what i have been doing this week it's new york fashion week so there are tons of parties events things going on throughout the week so i'm gonna fill you in on what i have done and talk about today because i did somewhere super exciting as you saw yesterday i went to the meta headquarters here in new york city and i went to real school which was really interesting it was a bunch of different creators from all types of niches they had like food instagrammers artists singers fashion beauty lifestyle you name it and we learned basically from itself about instagram reels and it did inspire me to create a few new reels so if you don't already be sure you are following me on instagram because i post there every single day so that was a really cool day and then i was invited to the longchamp event it was at a rooftop with the Bowery, which is the hotel and they were launching a new bag and of course the views there were amazing Fast forward to today, I just got my nails done and I went for a really pretty nude color. I usually go for a nude, I try color, but I just feel like this matches with everything and like if it does grow out, you won't even, you won't even notice. So that's why I go for a nude, but for my toes, I went with a pretty deep red to get into that fall mood. All right, so Al and I are actually headed to Broadway tonight. So I'm just gonna get ready, gonna put some new contacts in. Do you hear that? There is someone new living upstairs because they keep moving furniture all day long. Like even at two in the morning, I just hear like a table and chairs being moved around. I'm actually just trying to figure out why at two in the morning though. You know, like why, what's going on? Unless it's the super like getting it ready for someone else to move in. It's just so mysterious. Anyway, I'm putting in my contacts. I'm gonna add in some hoop earrings. My makeup is done like from the day, but maybe I'll just, you know, degrease myself just a little bit. And I have my necklace on, it's really pretty. This is from a brand called Sequin. It really just adds a statement. I'm really not like a big jewelry person because I feel like I break everything, but I love this necklace. So I've been doing this new lip combo lately. It's this Revlon lipstick in the color Sassy Mauve. It's not a matte color, it's a very like satin color. It's bold, right? but it's very pretty. And then I've been layering it with, with this like light beige nude lip gloss just to like brighten up the look. And then perfume. Let's figure out which one I wanna wear. By the way, I do have a video of my perfume collection, which is kind of old at this point because I definitely have gotten some new ones since that video. But I have a full collection and maybe I'll do a new one because I love, I love niche perfumes. Yeah, don't put me by the perfume counter in a store because I'm going to smell every single one and find a new favorite. I definitely pick perfume like based on my mood. All right, here are my top three. This is Fenty. I, this is a very unique fragrance and when it launched last year, it sold out so fast. And I believe they have finally restocked it. And when I go to events and things, when I smell this, it's very strong and unique. So this is 
definitely a unique fragrance. This might be my choice tonight. Then I have my other favorite. This is Delina. It's much more feminine. It's like a rosy scent. Oh, it smells so good. I love that one too. And then this one is another favorite that I've been wearing. Calmed Out by Diptyque. All right, so I think I'm gonna go with, I haven't worn this in a very long time, so I'm gonna wear this one tonight. Very like powerful, very sexy. First, Al and I are actually gonna go get some margaritas and some happy hour before we go. So this is the dress that I'm gonna be wearing. It's a very simple fall dress. I love the pattern of it, it's super, super lightweight. And it actually is gonna be on sale this upcoming weekend. On Sunday it starts, so if you're interested, I would honestly just hold off a few days and come back and come back to my channel because there's a special code that you need, but I don't have the code yet, so I can't share with you. But just FYI, if you're interested in this dress, it's super affordable. And I think with the 25% off, it's gonna be under $40. So a really cute fall dress. I have my necklace on. And I'm honestly probably just gonna wear a white leather sneaker because I don't really feel like wearing heels today. Low key, my foot, this foot right here, it's not broken, but there's something wrong with it. So I'm trying not to wear a lot of heels lately. I think it's just a bit swollen. Like right here is like my arch hurts. Whenever I put a heel on, it's really, really sensitive. I can hardly move it. So I'm gonna wear flats and keep it safe. So we made it to Taco Vision, one of my favorite places to get a happy hour margarita every single day from five to seven. So, and they have mezcal margaritas, and they're good. I'm a very hard judge of margaritas. You guys are probably so tired of seeing me now cheers, so we're not gonna cheers, but it's really good. I'm gonna go to the Kinky Boots, stage 42. started a project late in the day. I'm going through all of my shoes. I have this bookcase from Ikea. This is the Billy bookcase and it's like the perfect shoe shelf because you can customize how like tall the shoes are. You can put in more flat. I did buy two extra shelves for this bookcase so it does serve me well. However, I had a lot of like summer shoes in here and I want to organize all my boots. So I'm going through all of my shoes and I found these gems these are like Stuart Weitzman shoes from I think like 2015 and when these shoes came out I had to have them and I paid way more money than I should have on these shoes and Al is saying I need to get rid of them ASAP but I think I'm gonna hold on for memory's sake but they don't have to be front and center over there but I really do miss these I would wear these going out they're super tall would I ever wear this again? Probably not. I'm being bad. I'm holding on to things, even though I probably should let go. But this is also another throwback shoe. This is the Stuart Weitzman nudist heel. And I got it in this fun print. I got these like, I think at like Nordstrom Rack or something. Again, I don't think I would wear these. They're very high. You need like a dinner reservation or somewhere to sit in these, but it's like five inches. And right now, since my foot is like killing me, I could not, I could not wear these. I would literally fall over if I had to wear these out. But look how cute they are. They're so cute. I love the silhouette. Let me know down below if you like to wear super tall heels or are these just not it. <laughs> Ow. 
added in all of the boots. We've got black boots in the front, some nude boots, my white sneakers, and then some heels. So looking much better, more season appropriate. And I have much, now I gotta figure out what to do with all of these. So let me brainstorm. I could probably put them up here. The reason why I love this apartment is that there's three closets this size, which is amazing for a New York apartment. And above the closet, they have these like cubbies, which is amazing. So I could probably put them up there. That's um, winter hats and scarves and then some swimsuits and then some boxes. So I think this is probably the best best bet for um, extra storage. So Al and I decided to make something different tonight and we made pan seared cod. And I'm honestly liking it better than salmon. It's so good. If you see cod at the grocery store, buy it. It is so good. I actually made this recipe. I Googled cod recipe on Google and it was like the first one that popped up. So I will leave a link down below if you're looking for like a fun dinner recipe. Very easy to make and I'm going to dig in. And of course I have my dance moms on, so let's go. All right, so it's the next day. I found some storage for the shoes that are like spring summer and i did mention that it is fashion week so i'm headed to two events today i didn't go to any like fashion shows this year um but within fashion week a lot of other brands have events because a lot of people travel to new york so it's a great time for brands to throw events which i'm going to a shoe event tonight and then after that we're going al and i are going to go to a tequila event so once i saw the in invite for a tequila event I was in but i've already done my makeup so that's all good there is this like really weird skin rash that's happening on my skin i don't know if you can see that so basically i have all of these like small bumps all over my skin i've always had like bad chest knee but i think it may not even be chest knee it may be this like weird my light just went away <laughs> it's like this weird dot do you see all those dots on my arm so i looked it up on google which is not really good to do to look up things on google and i basically self-diagnosed myself with what is it called um found the name of it keratosis pilaris it's also known as chicken skin or strawberry skin it's a condition that causes rough patches and small acne like bumps on the skin so this is my arm, right? It's literally all over my body. Let me show you my stomach, it's kind of weird. This is what my stomach looks like. So it's like this really bad rash, just like all over my skin. And I've never ever had this before. And it kind of just popped out of nowhere. It's so weird. Basically I went on Google and I am now washing my body with CeraVe Sicilic Acid like face wash cleanser like all over my body. It does seem to help but it kind of just comes in waves. It's the strangest thing. I've never ever ever had like a reaction like this and at first I thought it must have been like a bad body product. I'm guilty of kind of just using products for more than they should last. Under every product there is a little date. Usually it's 12 months. And I did put on some body lotion that I know for a fact I've opened it more than a year ago. It's probably really old. So I thought that was what caused all the bumps. But let me know if you have this. It's a very common like skin thing. It's nothing serious. It's just more just like for beauty wise. It's just not the cutest look. And I don't know if this is it as well. If it's just the bumps have come up all over my body. But I would love to get rid of this. This is probably one of my bigger insecurities. I don't like having a lot of bumps on my chest. It's not cute for low cut items. So this I want, I've been trying to kind of find a solution for that. It's not cute. However, my face didn't break out. So I'm happy about that. They also do sell creams that are specific to this. So I'll probably get my hands on those, but it's not crazy. My stomach is more concerning. And then it's literally all over my legs as well. And I'm all ready to go. I love this jumpsuit. This is from a brand called Hill Bob, and I've had it for a while now. This is like my perfect cruise um, dinner outfit because it's a material that does not wrinkle at all. So it's perfect for packing. And it's just so flattering because it has like this band right here. I believe they still sell this jumpsuit. I'm ready for the event and I'm going to take you along with me. Also, a little home update. Table's gone, chairs are gone. I'm redoing this area. Um, I'm gonna keep the same table, it's just out of here right now. And I'm bringing in some white 
chairs. I know it probably sounds horrible for an eating kitchen, but I found these beautiful white upholstered chairs. Now, I've painted this wall blue and I love the color. It was so pretty, but um, I really wanna repaint it. And I found this color at Home Depot. It's called Night Mission. And it's a beautiful dark green and gray sort of color. And what I think it does is kind of like neutralize this space a little bit. It's still on the dark side, which I love. I love this dark accent wall. I think it's stunning. Um, but I had it for two years and now I kind of want to switch it. Actually, no, I think I've only had it for, no, I've had it for two years now. Yeah, I kind of want to switch it up. I'm kind of aiming towards that color. So stay tuned for some fun home decor updates. Also, before I head to this event, I'm gonna give you a little apartment update, life update. I'm staying in this apartment. I had other plans, but you know what? Sometimes you don't realize what you have is what you need. And so Al and I are actually staying in this apartment. So that's why I kind of want to redo a few spaces to make it new again and kind of like revive the space. So I told you about this wall that I want to paint and I have other plans. Um, I kind of want to redo the like office space. I found this desk at Pottery Barn. It's a floor sample. It's 50% off and it's like 80 inches long. So it's a huge table. I might get that and replace our target tables just to kind of have a more seamless space. So stay tuned for some fun home decor updates. I'll probably just do a whole video on like things that we do to just make the space more cozy and not new because I absolutely love how we decorated it, but always fun to just revive your space on a budget, kind of do some tweaks to make you excited again to do home decor stuff. I love home decor shopping, so that's my mini update. Yeah. Oh my gosh, where was the store? when I needed to find a wedding guest dress to an Indian wedding. Wow, my dress looks something similar to this. How beautiful is that? Anita Dong. Wow, that's beautiful. All right, we made it to Soho. We're going first to a shoe company. We're gonna check out their new shoes in, but we can only stay like 30 minutes because we have another event. So we're gonna pop in, see what's up. And it's crazy to see how many stores change in this neighborhood. Like I'm seeing new stores, and it's always an ever-changing little street, but okay. we're almost there. Okay. done with the first event. It's actually a really cool play. Oh, there's Elle <laughs> for biking. Um, it's a showroom and they feature designers from all over the world who are like, it's the first place in New York where you can see their designs. A cute little event. Now we're gonna head to check out the tequila event. Made it to Union Square and a party summer event for Terramana Tequila brand. So we're gonna celebrate with them. Have beats, bites, and cocktails. Al and I enjoyed fresh margaritas at this event. This is a brand owned by Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Unfortunately, he was not there to celebrate with us, but we had a really fun time. There was amazing food. You could also do some tequila tasting, which we opted not to do it, and a DJ. So it was a really fun event. And that's where I will leave you for this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.